welcome back, man. Episode 73 of Brick Shots with Billy Antonio. Real fast, quick number about 73. That was the very first number I ever had in football. So that's you must have been a lineman. I was when I started, yeah. See, those young coaches don't know where to put players. I was the, the hammer. That's what they called you? Well, the, the, no, no. So the hammer the coach was. See you in the, coach see you in the shower? <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, nah, but the hammer was the weak side defensive end. Oh, I thought that was your nickname. No, nah, no. Nah. Uh, it was Wild Bill was my nickname. I don't want to brag, but they used to call your boy Sap back in the day. Oh shit, that's a that's Sap awesome. back in the day. Tony, is that because you were sticky, stuck to the bench? <laughs> oh, because I was I I had made a living in the backfield. Oh, okay, that's why I distinctly remember this nickname, and it was being self-proclaimed. Nobody. Called <laughs> Who me? Proclaimed. He gave it to no, for real. <laughs> Coach Coach Wells. Anybody watching this know Coach Wells? They know. All right, we need to talk to Coach Wells. Be like, wait, what? Happened? I remember. Old I guy remember. with a limp. Antonio, you know Coach Wells. Christian, who? I do know Coach That's Wells. That's what you're going to say. Who the hell is that? on the team. Trap, trap. <laughs> That's how you say it. Y'all heard him make it, making it up, right? He made it up. Dude, that's all serious. That's all. Hey, you know, you know where he got that nickname at, Billy? Where's that? At the football field of Sherfield Apartments. <laughs> they used to call me something I don't, I don't want to repeat on here, but. Why not? Because I, I didn't, up. I don't think I lived up to it. It was like Jesus, God, something like that. I didn't think I deserved all that, but. That's what they used to call. Me. Well, that's so cool. Hey, <laughs> hell is real. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, it's, it's, no, they they didn't call me that, but they I did they did call me Seth though. But I didn't. I'm playing about the Jesus God thing. Uh, it was blasphemy. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to hell for just that one, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Oops. I'm, I'm gonna ask forgiveness in that prayer tonight. That's fair. Good, yeah, nah, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him now. Jesus, God, <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what's good with you, man? Uh, you got speedos on, so it must be hot out there. Uh, it is hot. Just have regular shorts on, not speedos. So <laughs> I'm not sure what. I don't know if we're wearing 2004 shorts in your area, but it's just regular okay. shorts nowadays. Okay, Matt, does your this is the second week in a row? Does it say juicy on the back of your shorts? You want to see? Yeah. What does nope. it say? Okay, nothing. I was just seeing nothing. if it did or not. Just making sure. Sit your ass down. Don't do that, man. What the hell is wrong with you, Matt? Them little ass uh, swim trunks on. I don't do that. Hey, seven Kids inch watch this show. All you need. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go into it. Speaking of some blasphemous stuff with Christian, um, he wasn't here last week to talk about the running back stuff. Uh, there was another uh, running back thing. The Zoom call. Did everybody see what what happened? Yeah. All right. I didn't. So inform me on what happened with that. So so what happened? So apparently Austin Eckler uh put in a Zoom call with all the running backs, like all the, the higher end running backs in the league, right? Your Aaron Joneses, your Derrick Henry's, Christian McCaffrey's, uh Josh Jacobs, those type Saquon Barkley, the ones the ones looking for the money, right? Okay. Like that's okay. he, he, apparently the Zoom call went. Um they talked about a bunch of stuff about why it's bullshit the way they're getting paid and even if they're being used and how, how it's going to work. Uh, one of the things brought up was instead of uh, uh, running backs having their own CBA, that was brought up, which is, again, stupid. And another one of calling them playmakers, not running backs, because they do, again, the full spectrum of catching the ball, running the ball. They're getting the ball after the quarterback. They're, getting the, they're touching the ball the most. Yeah. So I understand what they're saying. That doesn't make it – Less silly, and I know Tony has some disagreements. You want to get into it, man? I do, bro. All right, so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna go money first because that's 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 what the issue is, right? So, Billy, do you know what the franchise tag was for three positions on the offensive side of the ball 2015? Probably not off the top of your head. No, not off the top of my head, but 2015. Right. So, quarterback, give me a number. Just give me a number. What do you think? For quarterback, Franchise probably uh, 31, 29. 17 million. Matt was close, 18.5. God uh, damn, I'm good. That's a lot good. of Madden. Wide receiver. Anybody got a number? 12. Uh, 
eight point five. Billy, right on the money, twelve point eight. And running back, seven, six, six. I would say six is also as well. Nobody's ten point one or ten point nine million. Right. Hey, okay. All right. So now, now a little bit less than a receiver. Okay. Now, now. That's efficient, right? You know. Uh, now, tell me what you think it is for quarterback now, baby. It has to be 29 mil, I think. No, yeah. it's closer to what you said at first. It's like 33, 35. Damn. Who said 31? It's 32.4 million franchise tag for a quarterback. Jesus. How much do you think it is for a wide receiver, Billy? Now it's probably like about 19. Right on the head again. 19.7 million. Now, how much do you think it is for a running back? 10. Not even, I'll say 12. 10.1. 10.1. <laughs> right on the head. Uh, I just saw it earlier. Billy, these yeah. people deserve to get paid, but I, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not, we can't, we can't. And I know you're going to say, well, they're not, you know, what they used to be in, but that's cap. Billy, the reason why the Bills have not gone further in the playoffs is because of why. It's their man, they don't have a running game, Billy. Like, you need a running game. To win, bro. Like you can't throw the ball eighty times a game. Even even Kansas City run the ball, Billy, and they yes. got one of the craziest receiving court. What's up, Matt? I would just like to throw in something real quick before we uh, get going too crazy. I put in the group chat. I don't know, maybe a week ago, of all the salaries of the last like fifteen uh, Super Bowl winning teams, their highest paid running back in the roster. Yeah. The highest paid running back to win a Super Bowl last like 15 years was Percy Harvin, or the the player to lead the team in rushing. Oh, Percy that's Harvin. what that was. Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Percy Harvin, not Adrian Peterson, not Todd Gurley, not well, Derrick Henry. I know those guys haven't won Super Bowls, but those are the best running backs of the, you know recent memory. Yeah. I mean, but that's that that shit is. We but, seen Ty Gurley go to a Super Bowl. He just went up against the goat. Let me let me say this. So I see what both of y'all's points was. Billy, I hear yours last week. Antonio, you putting yours just now. I would say um, the cer- there's certain ones that need to get paid. Not everybody needs to get paid. I look at it like um, I mean, you can find a running back a dime a dozen. When was the last Super Bowl winner? And this is something I've heard off of debates about it. When was the last time a uh, top rusher played for a Super Bowl winning team? That's what Matt literally just said. Right. No, no, no. No, top rusher in the Super Bowl. Right. And I'm talking about winning the Super Bowl. Not out of the season, just out of the two teams. Not saying it's not important, but you can win a Super Bowl without paying your running back top dollars. Sonny Sonny Michel was the last uh, running back with, I think, over like a 1,000 yards that went to a Super Bowl. Was Sonny Michel the year they beat the Rams? I think so. I yeah. think we just gotta accept what it what the market is, and that's that. Absolutely. We yeah, are. but the problem the problem really is running backs are still really good. Bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not all of, them, all of them are really, really good. Like, you know, there's only a few teams in the league that got running backs on them that's not like legit. I I'm fearful of this guy every Sunday running back. But well, most of Business wise, your money are you gonna put that into where you can find multiple players that you don't have to pay a, a, a lot of money to, or you're gonna put that in like other positions, your receivers, your quarterback, your pass rusher. You can get I running mean, backs yeah. in the sixth round and get like Matt loves Alfred Morris. Yeah, you don't have, yeah. you don't have to spend a lot of money. I, I get that though, but what about what about multifaceted backs like Billy was saying? What about let like, for instance a Tony Pollard? The Cowboys no. offense needs Tony Pollard. Like but they need yeah. him. It's but not no, it's not no, and they paid Z. But, but and that's probably why you, they huh? What round did they get him in? I, third, I get that. third or fourth rounder. Right, go get I, you another third or fourth rounder. Yeah, Billy. Uh Christian, but if you already got somebody there that you know is a key, they get they're getting rid of Zeke for this dude. You need to pay yes. him, Christian. So you need to pay him. He he's that he's Dak's favorite target. Like 
Bar none. Favorite target. He came and in. also Zeke during his time was the best passing blocking or the best pass blocking running back in the game. And then Pollard's coming off an injury, a broken leg. Like so that was, I don't know if that I was, was a scared. year ago. Right, so, but I mean there's no guarantee he's gonna bounce back and be a hundred percent. Christian, he just took Zeke's spot last year. What are you talking but about? But Zeke was declining. He wasn't yeah, Zeke was you Yeah, can't. but we see we seen Tony Pollard have a good year. The, the bounce back shit, right, but again, he had a, is gone. A good year is not being no. the number one running back. He it's was the number one running back for the Cowboys. He was he was. He was the number one running what back. What game did he Cowboys. have more carries than Zeke? Oh, carries? Uh, being the number one back, I'm saying you're gonna have the most carries. He didn't even he wasn't even fifty carries Christian. less than Zeke. Being force fed Cowboys games, they used Zeke completely different power. Zeke was strictly between the guards. They wouldn't let, ever let him bounce out every very once in a while. They would let him do it. And he still averaged close to four yards per carry. But then Pollard would come in, get those screens, the toss cracks. Right. Shit, and they'd be like, wow, he's so good. Yeah, because you're just pounding up the middle of Zeke. And all of a sudden, you put in fresh legs and he's gone. Like, that's what I'm that's saying. That's why he was good. That's what I'm saying. He's oh, not. Hold on, real fast. Matt, are you saying that you need two running backs to do that? Mm, oh, possibly. so now maybe we have to allocate our funds to pay a guy behind a Derrick Henry or behind a Zeke yeah. and have that offense work the way it's supposed to work. Because no, if no, all my, no, no, what do you mean? No, because Billy, it's running backs is doing that. CMC, Saquon, but Josh, he they, they two guys, both those guys got hurt, taking the whole load. McCaffrey oh, stays hurt. McCaffrey stays McCaffrey there. played 16 games last year. Right, last but he year, came in before he was that. with Carolina. Before I'm, that. I'm, bro, I, don't before care, that. I, don't, I don't care about the back then. I'm talking about the now. None of these dudes are hurt. Now, none of these okay. dudes are hurt, Billy. None of them are hurt now. Good. Hey. Okay, so let me bring this up. And, and this is why I'm glad that we're talking about it. No, hey, last, and before, before, hold before, hold on. Before you get into it, Lamar stay hurt. He just got the bat. That's now, different. That's a quarterback. That's I a quarterback. He got hurt. That's he different. That's quarterback. No, compared oh, to oh, oh, so it's different. You know that's right? a difference. Hey, wait, wait. Who's more talented you know at the position, CMC or Lamar? Oh. See, if you compare it like that and say, you know, oh, well, you he's know. healthy, he's this. But if he's the best at that position, like CMC is, he's the best pass catcher out of the, out of the backfield. And if they ran him 15, 30 times a game, he would be the best rusher in the league. I'm glad you no, he said that, Matt. Yes, he best. would. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be the best rusher in the league. But again, yes, we're talking about two backs. No, the fuck he would, Matt. Yes, he oh, would. Yeah, if he, we're taking he, health out of it, he would definitely would be. No, bro. Yes. Over over, over a fucking – if we taking health out of it, over a Derrick You know Henry, why, you know why he's Jacobs, over Derrick Henry? Because it Nick takes Derrick Henry to get the 20 carries to get any yards. Because he has to wear him down. CMC can – 90 yards like that, first play of the game. Derrick Henry is down the middle, down the middle. Oh, linebacker's tired. Now I'm going to throw you in the dirt. That's why Derrick Henry is so good. He got All right. Got no point, so, so, uh, so the last CBA agreement that was reached was in 2020, okay? Was Derrick Henry a running back in 2020? Yes, sir. Absolutely he was. Was Austin Eckler running back in 2020? Yes, sir. Yes, he was. Okay. So was Chris McCaffrey running back in 2020? Where was he? Oh, yes. He was, he's been in the league for a minute. All right. Was Josh Jacobs running back in 2020? Yes, sir, he was. All right. You know what they agreed to? The substance abuse uh, policy doesn't mean a player suspension. That's That was agreed to. Players receive 48% of uh, the NFL's revenue and then 48.8% the next year. The NFL can use a franchise tag or a transit tag. They could not use both which they could have back before 2020, before the new CBA agreement. Players' position are eligible. Uh, they're eligible for a, a pension after three years. Uh, it was five the year before. Uh, a fourth-year player benefit up to 125, uh, or excuse me, $1.25 million to exclude from the cap. So you can pay your player up to 125 mil or uh, 1.25 mil for two years that doesn't exclude – that doesn't hit your cap. Uh, your fifth-year option is guaranteed if you're a first-round pick. Your fourth-year option is guaranteed if you're a second, third, or fourth-round pick. The NFL also, uh, for that CBA agreement, the NFL improved training facilities and they had a hospital network 
for free health care for current and former players of that city. That was what was agreed for the new collective bargaining agreement. And that's what all the players signed saying, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Not one time in that collective bargaining agreement did running back pay come up. The only reason it's coming up now, and again, we're using terms like deserve. Don't get me wrong. Do these running backs deserve the money? Absolutely. If I'm Derrick Henry and I'm getting the ball 400 fucking times a year, yes, I deserve that money. If I'm Christian McCaffrey and I'm accounting for 67.3% of the offensive snaps and I'm touching the ball, do I deserve this money? Absolutely. If I'm Austin Eckler and the reason that the Chargers suck is because I'm not in the game, I need this money. 20 touchdowns a season. Absolutely. I'm not saying it's wrong, but if you're looking at the market and I can go get Isaiah Pachinko in the fifth fucking round and still get 1,200 yards, because my quarterback is money, and that's where I got in the in in the grand scheme of things as the tenth round pick, or excuse me, the number ten pick, who isn't even a top five paid quarterback in this league. We need to stop with, and the, he just won a Super Bowl. We have to stop with the deserve and all this other stuff because if that's what they deserve, then sit out, wait for somebody to pay you because someone's gonna pay you. But you don't want to sit out because you don't want to miss out on the money. And I'm not telling anybody to sit out because I'm not missing any amount of money. But if this is how upset you are, if all 10 of those running backs sit out, do we do we lose anything in the NFL season? Yes, Just a quick yes or no one more time. Tonio, do we miss anything? If every running back that was on that Zoom call set out this season, are, we, are, are the teams drastically worse? Yes. How many of let's say if Josh Jacobs didn't play and Derrick Henry didn't play, how bad are the how bad are those teams? Three win teams. So three wins. Running backs only worth three wins, right? What? what no, that's dumb. I, I said they three win teams. Like oh, you they said three, oh, games. three yeah. games. Okay. What about the 49ers? Yeah, they got I mean, less. If, if if they don't if CMC don't play running back, they're just gonna put Debo back there. They don't count. No, because they had a seventh round Isaac Mitchell, Elijah, whatever his name is. Seventh Elijah round Mitchell. was had six hundred some yards in his first like eight games. That's not impressive. It was because he didn't even start. He played a little bit Man, his first two games, and then that. he went off a tear. I'm not impressed with that. Seventh uh, rounder. I'm not impressed. I can get the production of. Derrick Henry. No, you can't. Yes, no, you, you can. Can't. Maybe not no, Henry. You Maybe not Henry. Maybe no, you're you average. Can. You can no, get no, what I'm saying. Like you, you can get two yards out of four. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When I when I'm saying production, I'm okay. So maybe I said the wrong word. You did. I'm getting. I'm I'm getting the same amount of wins and losses without a Derrick Henry than I am with him. Now, is my offense more dynamic? Is my offense better? Absolutely. But Derrick Henry was exactly what the Chiefs done, did. They took uh, Clyde Edwards Alaire in the first round two years ago or three years ago now, and now they don't even use him because he's hurt. They're using the fifth round Isaiah Pachenko that they got that could have been the goddamn uh, Super Bowl MVP, but you don't give it to him, you give it to the quarterback because that's just the way the world works. And I don't need I don't need a stud at running back anymore. I don't. If I can find my quarterback, that does that nothing else matters. If you're Kirk Cousins, you need a Dalvin Cook. If you're Ryan Tannehill, you need a uh Derrick Henry. Daniel Jones. So how many, how many, how many more Kirk Cousins and Ryan Tannehills is there in the league than there is Pat Mahomes, dude? There's, There's a, more, right? But but again, I'm gonna go back to my Nick Saban theory. You're gonna oh people God. think, hold on, they're gonna think, oh, all I need is a quarterback and all my problems are solved. Whereas the, the, the same thing is going gonna, is gonna to happen every single time. All we need is a Patrick Mahomes type player, and we're going to be in the Super Bowl. That's the way these teams think now. That's the way it's going. Unless you're a Tennessee, you're a Minnesota, right, where you're like, I need Derrick Henry, but I'm not going to pay him to where now I'm going to start Malik Willis. Because Derrick Henry can start with Malik Willis. How many games is that team going to win, Tonio? Three? You said – you said Derrick Henry can start with him? Yeah, so let's say Derrick Henry doesn't get hurt. Malik Willis, that's your starting quarterback. Not Ryan Tannehill because you pay him too much, so you cut him. Now you're starting Malik Willis and Derrick Henry. How many wins I get? Because you're paying Derrick Henry, you can't afford to pay Ryan Tannehill. So he's gone. Now you got – okay, you got Will Levis and Malik Willis now. See, How many- that's, that's, not, that's not the problem, though. They already paid both of them. You can do it. 
they paid they paid Ryan Tannehill a stupid bag, and they paid Derrick Henry already. It could be yeah, done, they, baby. They, they it could be their, done. But but they cut their entire offensive line. Ben Jones, Taylor Wan. They shaved off like thirty Taylor million. Wan I know Taylor Wan was hurt, Taylor but Wan Ben Jones was one of the best day. centers in the league last year. They just cut him, bro. Because he's like Taylor, Taylor Wan. But Taylor Wan, Taylor Wan was a fucking walking. I'm not saying that. I'm saying he was hurt last year. But Ben Jones he was, was one of the best centers. In, that too. Listen to me. Ben Jones was one of the best centers in football <laughs> last year. They cut him. He's he just wants to talk about Taylor Wan. I'm talking about Ben Jones. I don't give a fuck about nobody named Ben. We talking about you said they whole offensive line. Well, if they whole offensive yeah. line, hey, because they paid Henry and Ryan Tannehill. Okay, okay. Let's, 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 be, let's, be, let's be honest about it. So Go you ahead. you can't pay hey. everybody on the team. You and the most teams are paying the quarterback. Dude. Hold on, hey, Matt just made my fucking point. Derrick Henry ran behind one of the worst offensive lines in the league and still gave me. 1,500 fucking yards. No, I did, no, no, I did not. Worst offensive line ever in Cincinnati and got to a fucking Super Bowl. What did Derrick Henry do? Nothing. Lost to the Bengals while they were on their way to the Super Bowl. I just, said, just need Taylor, a I said Taylor Long was hurt and Ben Jones was one of the best centers in football. Yeah, his offensive line still was ass. The Titans offensive you know who line else? was ass. You know who else's offensive line was ass? Was Joe Burrows. And they went to the fucking Super Bowl. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You don't need to pay hey, hey. Hey, Billy, and, and lost because of what? The offensive, the line. offensive line was ass. All right, so I, you're not making no point. I don't care about that. And Joe Mixon, good as fuck, too. Oh, They're right. not paying him like that, though. He's not a top. He guy. just actually did take a pay cut. Joe Mixon took a pay cut. Why? Because they have Joe Burrow, and that's what you need. Nah, you know, he, took a, no. he took a pay cut because they got everything. It ain't just Joe. They got you got to pay Chase. You got to pay well, Higgins. That's, you that's what pay. I was about to say. You putting your money into your quarterback, his weapons, which are your receivers, pass rusher, and maybe a, a, a cornerback. You you ain't putting a and back or a running back. I'm still gonna sit on and Billy knows this. If Buffalo had a fucking running game, they would go further every year. Matt said, they, Matt said they haven't changed their identity, so they're gonna fall off. You know what hadn't changed about their identity? They didn't get a premier back. Could have when they got Kamara, could have yep. when they got a lot of people actually, they can still go get Dalvin Cook right now. No, but and absolutely. They, got, they and, and what what would that do for them, Billy? Would that not? Who's no, still? it would. And and I've I've said on this show, if the Bills went to get Bijan Robinson, I would have them as Super Bowl favorites. But they didn't. And hold on, hold on. Josh Allen is the number three or uh, uh, number three or four. Sorry, John. Number three or four highest paid quarterback. He's not taking those pay cuts. And you're right. Sorry, John. And they they don't have a number two receiver either. So if you want to argue with me semantics that they don't have a second tier receiver for Stephon Diggs to take away at least one, maybe two double. Gabe Davis is pretty good. No, Gabe Davis is pretty good, sure. But again, what has Buffalo done? We can say it's a running game, but then you look at teams with great running games. What are they doing in the playoffs? Baltimore has had the top has had a top three running game the last six years in the league. What have they done? What's the furthest they've gone? Oh, the second round of the playoffs. And then they, you guys suck, Billy. That I mean, maybe I, that's true. That, that, that was just an easy shot to take. My fault. That's I feel it. I got it. I was waiting for someone to do it. But that's what I'm saying is it doesn't the, the running back does not win me a Super Bowl. And again, that's the whole point. And I you know that I've been on this. If you're a team like Minnesota or fucking Tennessee, you're not winning Super Bowls, so you should be really? to the AFC. If champion. anyone should know this out of us, it's Tonio. What, name a great running back the Patriots have had. Oh, all of our running backs. Oh, are great. Kevin <laughs> Kevin Falk. I mean, he wasn't even know where his Falk. Falk. He was a Super Bowl MVP, I thought. Right? Am I tripping? You tripping? He should have been, but they yeah. got the Brady. That's right. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's known as being related to Marshall Falk. I don't even uh, know if that's same, true. Same, yeah, same, same with Sonny. Sonny, Sonny should have actually Tom Brady gave him the, the Super Bowl MVP trip. Oh, I thought that was Malcolm uh, Butler. He gave years, him yeah. he gave him one too. Oh shit. But Tom. he gave because Sonny Sonny got the the go ahead in the OT. Yeah. Uh, touchdown. Uh and he should have been too, sure. He should have, but they gave it come you just said it. We give it to the quarterback. It don't it never yeah, it was pretty dumb head. giving Tom Brady a truck. Like, hey, you make a billion dollars. Here's a thirty-five thousand dollars truck. 
Yeah, but no, no XM radio either. But Billy, I going to us, bro. Like we we rely every Super Bowl, every Super Bowl run we have been on since I've been a fan. We've relied on our running game. May not have been a big name back, but we relied on our running game. Lagare Blunt a lot. Like we we James have White. A yeah, a lot, but we don't pay them. But that's us. That's the Patriots. We don't pay nobody. The that's literally the Patriots are the model of how to win Super Bowls. And now you're upset because these running backs aren't getting paid. When Bill has been doing this for everybody, even his defensive ends, he didn't pay Richard Seymour. He didn't pay Ty Law because he understands it doesn't fucking matter. I cannot pay receivers either. I can get a quarterback out of Kent State and make him a Super Bowl MVP. As long as my quarterback is really fucking good, none of the other positions, and in the grand scheme of things, don't fucking matter. They don't. Who went to you're going to pay Tom, Gronk, and Devin McCourty. That's who you're going to pay. Boom. Who? I got who a Super to, Bowl fucking roster. Who went to Kent State? Uh, Julian Allen. He's not a quarterback. He was a quarterback at Kent State. Yeah, but he ain't. No, Bill put him at receiver. Chris Hogan, yeah. who was a fucking lacrosse player, he was like, yeah, come over here and get 800 yards a year. What the fuck? That, yeah, we that's, just, but we different, bro. Like, you can't compare us to the rest of the league, bro. No, we, I, that's, Tony, that's what I'm saying. I know that. But teams want to do that. Because they think that's how you win a fucking Super Bowl. Adrian Peterson, who was the best back in the league for probably an eight-year span before he whipped his kids and people freaked out about it. Adrian Peterson was the best running back in the league, and the Vikings didn't do dick except for the year they got Brett Favre, again, a quarterback, and got to the NFC Championship game. Really? That's what, it, that's what it's you about. You keep saying a quarterback. Josh Allen is a quarterback. No, he's not. If he was... He would have got to a Super Bowl. That's why we love Joe Mixon. Is be or excuse me, Joe Burrow because he's got to a Super Bowl. He at least got us to there. Hold on. That's because that's because Joe Burrow had black. Nice. Maybe you're right. But number two, that's where Lamar's hate comes in too, right? He hasn't got there, and it's all on Lamar. And Lamar has had probably the best running game out of any of these: the Chiefs, the Bills. Uh, who were we just talking about? Hell, he, he is the running game. game. No, even when he was out, we have uh, more yards per game than um, every other team except. Uh, yeah, Billy, but think about it, though. Look at y'all. Look at y'all, Billy. All right, last year, almost won a game. But look at y'all realistically. Y'all didn't even have a fucking. What, what about the year y'all, all your running backs was hurt? Uh, your defense was hurt. Everybody was fucking hurt. Yeah. What you supposed to do with that, Billy? Even you, y'all still can run the ball. That's Lamar the year still... Lamar won a playoff game. That's right, what I was about to say. Coach. Lamar went off. Yeah, he, he was running that motherfucker. Because we have a good quarterback, and that's the thing. That's why Jalen Hurts, that's why we're looking at Jalen Hurts like this. They got rid of Miles Sanders. Now it's on Jalen Hurts to do what Lamar Jackson has done already. Didn't they, didn't they get it back, though? They got didn't DeAndre they Swift and then another guy. Ain't DeAndre Swift a pretty good back? Yeah, if he stays healthy, he's, I would say he's a top 15 back. He's not going to be a top five back, but he's – if he stays yeah. yeah. Either way, we've been on this, you know, 30 minutes now. But I just – I still think the top running backs deserve to get paid because they do what needs to be done for the offense. I don't – So, real fast, before we go – and I don't see – fuck, here's the field again. But here <laughs> – but, okay, use, use a different term than deserve. These running backs don't use the term deserve the money. Should get paid. Why should they? They they don't equate to going because to the they, they, these top these top it don't. I, I mean I know it's about winning, but these tops back they are relied on heavy in their offenses. I'll That's say it like that. They are working. If we're talking hard. about the top like backs I, relied on, we can't we can't bring up Saquon or Josh Jacobs into that because Josh Jacobs had a good same with Saquon had a good like rookie year or sophomore year was gone and then just came back. Same thing with Saquon. The only one in this conversation who should get paid is Eckler. That's the only guy who should be getting paid. And he's Josh not Jacobs, even close to as good as them, but he gets 20, 25 touchdowns a year. Josh Jacobs just led the league in rushing last year. Yeah, he uh, did. But what has he done before? besides that? that that's what I'm saying, man. 900 yards, now. maybe. So give it to you a couple years before you get paid? So no. Because you haven't done anything, and then just one year you go off. We've seen that a million times. Alfred Morris. Uh, Doug Martin, we've seen all these one-offs just 
boom, boom, you got nothing else to do because your team sucks. We're just going to give you the ball. So I'm about to solve. I'm about to solve the running back issue right now, and I have not heard anybody say this, so I'm very proud that I thought of this. How about when the running backs come out of the draft? That's their big payday. You take a gamble on a running back, but that's their big payday. That first five years, that's what they get. Here's your big payday. After this, we know injuries happen and all this shit. So now you're getting these little shittier deals. But your first contract in the NFL is a fat, mighty one. Is that that but that's what they've been saying. The ones that get drafted high get that big contract. Like Zeke, Saquon, their first one was big. And it Pacheco, he's never going to get paid because he was a seventh, fifth, whatever. He's a low draft pick. Right, then so he's old. He's older. So when he's off his rookie contract, he's going to be 28, 29. He's never going to get paid. And That's like got one a issue. Ring on his belt. I mean, being realistic, no money. running backs are, are good four or five years. Then they're 28, 29 on the decline. Unless you're Frank Gore and you're just like. Right. Then he but, yeah, but then he takes $1 million deals. I still got it. 1,200 yards. <laughs> Thanks, Antonio. But going, going from running backs to the, the position that Billy loves the most and he's biased about because that's what he was, Long quarterbacks. Snapper. <laughs> Young quarterback. So uh there's a lot of quarterbacks. Quarterback is a big probably the biggest position in the NFL because you need a good field general to get to the Super Bowl as Billy just screened. Also need a running back, but we're not gonna get back into it because he'll be like, Hold on, let's go back to this subject. Uh Blue Real coming soon. But there are six quarterbacks that I think might have some trade value that teams should be looking into. Uh, and let's get into it. I'm uh, Billy's favorite uh, off the list. I'm going to go with uh, David Mills. That's Billy's favorite on the list. I know it is. Uh, Malik Willis, Joshua Dobbs, uh, Trey Lance, Zach Wilson, and I think his name is – is it Ben DiNucci? Ben from Dallas. Ben yeah. DiNucci. Nah, from Denver. Uh, so let's get into it, Billy. Uh, let's start with Davis Mills, man. Uh, do you? Because I'm gonna just ask y'all. Think these that team should look into going after these players, or is it just he's a certified backup for the rest of his life? So with Dougie Mills, let me just say I think um, having some talent around. Uh, well, all these young guys. If we're being for real, all these young guys. If you kind of surround them with talent, they can be serviceable. I do think. The backup quarterback position is underrated, and I think Dougie Mills could be a starter if a team is well put together, not the way that Houston has been running their franchise. But Davis Mills, if he was if he was a backup in Baltimore, I wouldn't be upset. What about you, man? What you think? How, how do you feel about? Him? Uh, I think that list all holds a little bit of value besides Danucci. He was like borderline XFL a few years ago. I'm surprised he's back in the league. Um, but Davis Mills, uh, Tyron Taylor got hurt starting over him. So that means he is guaranteed to be a franchise quarterback. It's just taking a little bit longer than the rest. Yeah. So, I'm going with Davis Mills. I feel like everything Billy Matt, said, you put him in the right situation. Did Matt sound like a computer to anybody? Yeah, no, but his phone, his phone gave back and it, it fixed it. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I, what about you, Christian? What do you think about David Mills? Uh, Davis, David Mills. Davis. Davis. Davis I think, Mills. I think he's the only one with value. I think the rest of them. Out of all of them? Out of all of them. I'm not trading. More than Lance? More than Lance. I mean, he can't even get on the field because they're bringing in players that they think is better. Well, so they, is better. Yes. it well, must be a problem. You snap your right. Um, Mills, I wouldn't give up much for, for any of them. Mills, at the most, fourth round for a solid backup. The rest of the highest value then. I think so, he so still has the highest value. So let's go here. What teams need a quarterback? Let's go here first. Sam quarterback Frank. or a backup quarterback? Quarterback, backup. I'm going one. Sam Fran. Get three, get three, two serviceable backups in your starter. Because uh, y'all could have got to win, win somewhere if y'all had don't, it. Don't say that to Billy. Billy loves that dude over there in, uh, in San Francisco. 
Yeah, but no, no, I, I, I like what they got the going, but those two the just can't stay healthy. So just cover your butt, your butts with your serviceable back. So, back. so if we're looking at the league, honestly, teams don't need a quarterback. Like where we're sitting at, Atlanta. Atlanta might need one, but if 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 we're looking at it like like schematically, they took Ritter thinking he could be a good developmental project a prospect, and that's the same thing with Tennessee with uh, uh, Malik Willis, right? But then they just drafted another quarterback. So if Atlanta drafted another quarterback, maybe I would think the same thing, but I'm not because maybe they see something in Desmond that we don't see in the media that we're not like kind of looking at. Hey, uh, so, and it, it is uh, weird to me that they drafted Will Levis, but now the reports are that Malik is shitting on Will Levis. No, but now this, this is what the reports are saying. Levis is having a bad camp, but Willis is, is terrible. They say he might not even get a roster spot. See, and that that was uh, two weeks ago, but now they're saying that he's shitting on Will Levis. Yeah, but are, are they saying that to get trade value out of Malik? Maybe. I mean, for me, watching Malik last – what was that last year against that, that was Chief? bad. That was bad. Terrible. Now, he could have got better, but watching that, I mean, it was like they had no quarterback at all. Real fast, too, before – like, I don't want to sound like we're just dumping on these guys. The NFL is really fucking hard, so I don't want to act like fucking – it's, it's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you come from the liberty to the yeah. NFL, you might take a I, think, I think regardless of where you came from or how you got there, you gotta do better than that. Because to me, that was what was he like one for twelve? He, at, was, no, was, he, he ended that game. He was like four for he was like four for like twenty one or something. But like his that stretch was really bad. Uh, his one that because that one for twelve that you're talking about. He had one completion for like four yards, and it was just like a little screen out, and it was, it was just bad all over. It just I mean, like but we could have got better. At, Go ahead. Yeah, because you can get better. Because we, we look at no, the same absolutely. league that Rex Grossman got to a Super Bowl. In. Yeah. And that's why I say, I mean, from what I saw then, I don't know if he's got it. But but fumble Sanchez, like it's it's, a, it's been a Mark lot. Sanchez. Mark Sanchez went to two AFC championship games. Don't don't he me. peaked and got worse. There was no him getting better. That's what I'm saying. That's where, like, he got – he Malik Willis does not look anything like getting me to the playoffs, let alone an AFC championship. He was in a situation yeah, where the Titans need to do with those two quarterbacks. Just hand it to Sean Green a million times and play lockdown defense with Rel Revis and Tony Camardi. But they can't do that. But, and they had better receivers around him too. Braylon Edwards. Braylon Edwards and – Antonio Holmes. Oh, that's true. They did have the same thing. Jericho Cotri. Right. They had people we could forget right. about in 20 years be like, hey, you remember this guy? Dustin. No, I, I, can't I can't wait for those conversations. There's nobody besides Traylon Burks for Tennessee. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, besides them. Austin two. Hooper. Austin I think he's still on the team. That's okay. Fire superstar seeing Mars coming back. Uh, going uh, from these young quarterbacks to an old head that always seems to get his hands into everything. I don't know how. Well, I do know how, but this is not conspiracy theories one-on-one. But uh, if you know, you know. Magic Johnson, main oh, yeah. partner in the uh, buying of the commanders. And first thing he talked about was looking into changing the name, Billy. The uh, uh, Washington Magic. What they sound like to you, man? Honestly, so I don't hate the Orlando Magic name. If the Washington Magic, if they kept the the maroon color scheme, I wouldn't be mad. I, I like that. And I ain't never heard it until Tonio just said it. So I'm I'm about that. He, you said it, and I almost puked in my mouth. That <laughs> sounds awful. Washington Magicians. <laughs> it just needs like. The football team, or like, what was the other good option when they had the campaign? Like, the War Dogs, War Pigs, or uh, the Air Hogs. I don't know. They had like some stupid option that was okay, they but they're like Commanders. They were like, what they the should fuck? be. No one they should be the, the bullets, bro, and change their whole color scheme to those old fucking uh, Wizards jerseys, the Bullets jerseys, bro. Yeah. That should. I mean, it's patriotic. I don't care about that part of it, but them that them jerseys hard as fuck. Like, as fuck, yeah. Yeah, and the being the bullets when a lot of people get shot in DC anyway. Fuck it. 
Brian Robinson did out there. I don't think you want to advertise that. You're right, especially with <laughs> getting shot. Your cousin, you let your Chapman. cousin get shot, uh, Christian <laughs> brother, brother Brian Robinson. Yeah, really? Damn. Yeah, that's his. That's his son. Yeah, that shit crazy. That's, that's crazy as fuck. That is your brother's <laughs> real name. <laughs> uh, but what y'all think? Uh, Magic Magic did talk about having high expectations for a franchise, and we seen him turn around. But pretty much every franchise that he's touched. Y'all think he's gonna do the same for the commanders or this just I hope money so. grab? He's a good business man. I don't know what percentage he has the ownership, but I feel like it's not in nah, the majority. It's, it's, it's the majority. He is a majority owner. Well, there can only be one one majority owner. Well, it's that dude, and then Magic is right under him. That's what the article said. Oh, because I thought it was like two brothers and then like a group behind them. Nah, I, I didn't look. I didn't look too much into it because I don't care. It was like that one dude. One, it was like one dude that uh owned the team, like he bought the team, and then Magic was like a main part. But I feel like whoever bought it is gonna be like, with all due respect, Magic, like, yeah, you're an athlete, but I feel like I know just about as much of football as you do. You know, I'm I didn't buy a basketball team and bring you in and be like, oh, fuck off, I'm gonna run it, like, you're just gonna make money off this. I feel like he's going to be there as the business aspect because he is a good businessman, try to turn around the culture of that team. But really, it's going to be whoever that guy's name is. Great media we got right here. Uh, <laughs> he's going to be making all the decisions. Josh I think Harris. Obviously, yeah. Is, is, is the, Josh Harris is the guy that – that is the majority owner, and then it's. Uh, Didn't he own? He owns like a like a soccer team or something. He owns something else. I don't. Know. Sorry, John. We'll get better. Anyway, uh, but I just I, I I hear what you're saying, Matt. But the same thing for Magic. He ain't no shit about the Dodgers, and he got them good. Like he ain't no. But I they, mean, he no shit about baseball. He just because he's a, a NBA player. Well, hold on. They, was, they wasn't good when he bought them. Or it, no, yeah, no, they were, yeah, they were pretty good. They, they were pretty magic. much. They pretty much always been good, but for like three years, maybe. Yeah, and them three years is when he bought them. No. Uh, the, uh, the Dodgers just couldn't get it together. Clayton Kershaw was playing bad in the postseason. Not to get too baseball-y on the show, but yeah. But were they? Were they? Uh, uh, 2012. They was good in 2012, man. Yeah. Uh, 2000. Yeah, they definitely were. They won uh 86 games that year, which is 10 games above 500, which isn't the worst. It's not the best. It's not the worst. But that's a playoff team. Did they win anything? Well, I'm talking about good. I'm talking about winning. Winning the pennant. Like I said. It's the when they got to the postseason, Clayton Kershaw just really shit the bed. So they didn't really know what to do after game one. They were already down 0 1, thinking you're up, thinking you're going to go up 1 0. And then being down 0 1 is way different for baseball. So yeah. since 1999, the Dodgers' worst winning percentage was in 2005 at a 438 uh, winning percentage, which is just below 500. Yes. No, that so is. they've been good. Almost wrapped. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, got go better. Beyond that. they got better with Magic. Uh, like I said, everything he touched sports wise, he pretty much he got LeBron to LA. Uh, so, what happened the year he left LA? Chip. What you mean? Oh, I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> what you mean? The year he, uh, the year he fucking quit or got let go or whatever. He's got a high floor, but he, he quit. I said. Floor. I said he got LeBron there. <laughs> like oh, I didn't yeah. say, yeah. he got him there. You're saying he's got a high floor. Got he got AD there too. Got a real high ceiling. Yeah, that was a bad trade though, Tonyo. That was awful. No man. Either way, speaking <laughs> of awful, awful owners, uh, let's jump into the NBA. Michael Jordan uh, finally got his team sold uh, for a whopping three billion dollars. Um, that's so that's a lot. Not what, 
That is a lot. Oh, okay. I said a whopping. Whopping. Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought I thought it was like a, a funny like whopping three billion dollars. I thought that's what you were saying. My bad. Nah. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. The money uh, aspect. We're here to talk about because. It's a lot of Jordan stands out there that sees Jordan doing no wrong at ever because he he's the he only played from ninety uh two to ninety uh eight when he won all six. It was the only years he played, you know, never played any time before that. Uh six, six and old. retired. Yeah. Yeah. He never played for the Wizards in two thousand three, none of that shit. Uh he just played when he won and that's all he did. And he's a winner at life. Except <laughs> as an owner, Mike Jordan, one of the worst owners we've ever seen in the history of basketball, going another whopping 423 and 600. That is terrible. Is that really uh, one of the worst owners ever? Like, for real? Is that one of the worst? I don't know. Seen? I don't oh. know. I just want to take a. Uh, I feel I like it's mediocre. Take... You think you know, it's mediocre? I'm God. I mean, that's not – it's not good, but it's not like – he's not like 100 and 600, you know? That's like uh, in a, that's like in April or uh, in March. They're like, hey, we're only like eight games from the wild card. Yeah. Uh, no, but I mean, I'm honestly, dude, as, as a basketball fan, I'm not stupid to say that Jordan, like, sucks. That's not – obviously, that's not what I don't think anybody says. But – as an owner, he did do a lot of shit where you're like, yo, what is what is your plan? Like, what are we doing? Are we getting, like, like he drafted, like, Frank Kaminsky and a bunch of guards the whole time he was there. Like, he was like, it seemed like he was always trying to find, like, who was most similar to him. Uh, I think he was just upset that Kobe never, never landed up in Charlotte. So, I think he was just trying to figure, like, oh, we'll just draft this guy. Maybe he'll be like Kobe. Oh, we'll draft this guy. Maybe he'll be like Kobe. And that's just never what happened. Actually, yeah, he is. So they ranked him uh, the number two worst owner ever. Uh, Who was the worst? Behind. James Dolan, New York Knicks. Ooh, yeah, fuck. There we go. Okay. Yeah, but Michael Jordan will always have to hold his L, having the worst record ever in league history when Charlotte wins 7 and 59. That's, that's bad. That's bad. What if he just buys another team in a better market? Nah, cause he only he wanted he wanted Charlotte. He wanted that whole the whole whatever. I, he's from the area, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, I just uh, I don't know I, really. He probably sold goes, it. My bad, Tony. He probably sold it to get in on the fucking live in the uh, PGA Tour gig. Well, he's in on NASCAR. He's a NASCAR owner, and he does pretty well there. No, he doesn't. He, his team, his team know. is like his team is like second to last in every category ever. And well, he's got uh, what's his name, Bubba Watson or whatever Bubba his Wallace. name is. Wallace, he's not, yeah, he's not good either. Yeah, I've heard he's really good from he's all the news. Bubba Wallace's Ooh. average finish is like twentieth out of forty. Better me. That's that better than me. with the noose that was left in his alleged. Room? Yeah, they uh, they think it's alleged. No, that shit wasn't fake. Yes, it was. Bubba Wallace has said it's fake, Tony. All right, well, until you come on this show and tell me it was fake. Hey, I'll call him racist. I'll yeah, call. Just, uh, uh, but I just like to point out that everybody says Michael Jordan's professional career has been the best ever, but not at all. Not at all. Uh, it's very, very terrible. Uh, it's probably his biggest professional uh, failure. And I wanted to go into the point that uh, a lot of people can't go into positions that they shouldn't be in, i.e., Let's go to another person, Phil Jackson. Uh, after coaching, he went to uh, run the Knicks organization, and that was a dumpster fucking fire. Yeah, he was man. terrible there. Like, uh, also, like I said, man, I really, I really kind of question Phil Jackson as a coach. Uh, that's just me, though. You have Michael Jordan, one of regarded as one of the best ever, and then you go to Kobe and Shaq and win again. It ain't really that hard, uh, you know. But that's neither here nor there. He didn't win like Greg with one superstar and four Frenchmen. So that's just that's just me though. That's just me though, Billy. I know you, Phil Jackson's your uncle and stuff, so you don't want me to talk about him. I fucking but, wish. Uh, 
Yeah, I wish too. But uh, let's get hey, on. Go be a coach in the Lakers. Fuck it. That's if Phil Jackson was my uncle. Shit. Hell yeah. You probably could get AD to play in the paint, but we ain't going to talk about AD. Let's talk about another big man and his team. Let's talk about Joel Embiid and the Sixers. The Sixers are in fucking trouble. <laughs> and you know why? Because why? that diva, that diva named James Harden is back again. About to pull the same, that fat suit back out of the, where is my super suit? He's about to pull that back out of the closet, man. Uh, Christian, what you think about the Sixers, man? Are they in trouble? Are they in turmoil or? Man, um, I think it was his best choice, his really only option. Uh, I think they're better with him than without him. So I guess it works out for both. Because who fills his role? Maxi? Who fills Maxi's role? I don't think he gets enough assists to fill. You see, I think they, they – they were worried about him, even though you know he is he ain't what he used to be, somewhat of a distraction, but they're better with him, and he didn't have a big market. Who ain't what they used to be? As have have any of us been to Philly and seen the strip club scene? Uh-uh. <laughs> How's the strip club scene in uh Philly, Cody? I I mean I liked it. And I wouldn't it's not better than Houston's. It ain't. Uh oh. but that ain't that ain't where you want to go though. No, no, no! I'm just, I'm just throwing out like, like into the one in Houston. You been? Oh, I, I've been to the, the a couple of strip joints in uh, Houston. I know they go to a Florida team. I know they talking about something. But it it's, don't that don't that ain't he wants he wants to go to the Clippers and we've seen this before. When Jane Harden wants to get somewhere, he does. Either he he does, bro. Like, um, and I think, I think, bro, and we can get into it. Uh, Realistically, bro, what he should do because I don't think he gets to LA at all. I work like where does he play? You gonna start Russell Westbrook, Paul George, James Harden, and Kawhi? I you think they play? yeah they got too much going on with George and um Kawhi. They they not bringing in that extra. Are they? I I feel like that's one of the spots where you think. Where like exactly what we just said, like what happens, and then I feel like that's the best place, only because we're sitting here saying like what's gonna happen because we said the same thing with Brooklyn, where it was Kyrie, Kev, uh, KD, and James Harden. We're like, well, well, how does it fit? But then when James was like, hey, get me the fuck out of here, they were like, all right, and then he went to a better team, and then Brooklyn was like, oh, hey, fuck all this, this ain't gonna work, and it's because James Harden left. I I feel like personally, like looking at it. That's where I think Brooklyn's, as soon as James Harden left, that's where they started to fall. And I think the same thing is going to happen with Philly, where Joel is going to be like, hey, yo, I told you to keep Jimmy Butler. You didn't. I told you to keep Doc Rivers. You didn't. And I'm, I'm out of here next. And well, I think- that, brings me, that brings me to an interview uh, that was had with Joe Budden recently. I mean, Joe Budden. With uh, Joel MB recently, um, he said, and I quote, my goal is to win a championship here or anywhere. Close quote. So now you that's why I think Philly's in trouble because they're going to – James Harden got to move. Uh, Whoops. James Harden, James Harden has to move. Uh, he don't want to be there. But I think getting into our next and last NBA topic, I think he should go and switch contract or switch roles with uh, Danny. I think that would be – nobody think about that, but I just think that would work out for James Harden to get his own team. Uh, I don't know what – the strip club life probably sucks in Portland, but uh, – Harry armpits. Yes. But Oregon, every drug is legal there, so, you know, he can get he – can, he can do whatever out there, you know, fly whatever rapper he want to there. They ain't got to worry about going to jail because it's Oregon. Uh like I said, every drug to a certain limit is legal there. Uh, that was crazy law, uh, but that's real. <laughs> and I think Dane goes there, and him and Joel and B make some noise. Uh, I think, you know. Uh, but while we own Dane, what's five realistic landing spots for Dane other than what I just said and Miami? Because the Miami Miami said they're getting frustrated with the Dame talks. Uh, um, 
they've been talking to Portland. Portland won't give them a realistic answer or communicate with them on what they really want for Dame. So now they're getting frustrated. But I think once again, one of them superstars like Dame, once he say, "All right, trade me," kind of got to make that trade. Well, so here's the thing: we, we the the last couple of years we have seen these superstars say. I want to go here, and that's where they go. KD, James Harden two different times, Kyrie a couple of times also. Um, we're, we're looking at, and again, the NBA, the ultimate players league. Uh, but but what we're looking at is when Miami knows, hey, yo, what do you, what do you want for this guy? We'll give you X, X amount of what you want. But if they're not given, if Portland's like, I want Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson, but Miami's like, mm, I can't give you both. I'll give you one and somebody else. And then when they lose, uh, I think it's Caleb Williams or was it Gabe Davis? Gabe Davis. Gabe, Gabe, not Davis. Not Davis. That's a football player. Gabe, um, come on, basketball guys, help us out. Uh, Gabe, oh, okay, Gabe. Vincent. Gabe. Vincent. Gabe Vincent, thank you. And then Gabe leaves, right? So now, now we're missing him. We can't give you just everything because this shit isn't going to work for Miami getting Dame for what we need to get. Because Miami just, just got out of the finals. Like, they just went to the finals. So it's like, don't get me wrong, is Dame going to give us this? Probably. But we need these other role players to fucking fit what we're trying to do. Same thing with Denver. With all those role players that they just had, they just won the finals. What we're looking at so, because that's another thing with Dame, uh, don't get me wrong, again, we're going to use the word deserve a lot on this show, where does Dame deserve to go where he's trying to go? Absolutely. Because he's, he's set with Portland, he's done, his, he's done his due diligence, he's set there, he tried to win a chip with y'all, it just isn't working out. You get Chauncey Billups, Chauncey didn't really help, you get Scoot Henderson, Dame's still kind of like, ah, I don't know about this. But then, you're looking at a James Harden who's like, oh, uh, this team ain't going to win nothing, get me out of here. Oh, shit, Russell Westbrook. Ah, this team ain't going to do nothing. Get me out of here. Uh, or not Russell Westbrook, excuse me. Kyrie Irving. Oh, get me out of here. This team ain't going to do shit. Now, we're looking at a team in Portland who's like, you know what, Dame, I want you to stay. If we're not getting the absolute best fucking deal, we're not sending you anywhere. And I think that's that's where we're at now. And whatever team is going to give them the best deal, if we're looking at it logistically, it's probably going to be, like Tony o said, Philly. I was kind of upset that he said it, but that's where I wanted to go with it. And because I don't have I don't have many other teams that can get Dame for it for it with a trade package. Maybe uh, you can trade Indiana. Oklahoma City. With all those fucking draft picks, I don't think I think OKC, I love that pick though, Matt. But other than I, I think they want to be the youngest team, and I think they want to do with what they with Shy and all them. I think they want to keep that yeah. the way it is. But you nah, need like a veteran. I you need agree. a veteran to get you to where you need to go, though. And then Dame can move on, and then that core group can still stay, and then take you to the next step because they're under the leadership of Dame, whatever that may be. We haven't really seen him lead anything, but you know, possibly that could lead them to that. I agree with uh, Matt on the OKC as well. Christian, who you got? Boston. But the only thing with that is I don't see with locking up Jalen Brown, I don't really see what they're trying to get him. Fucking – see, that's the thing too. If I'm Boston, give me Dame and Scoot, and I'll give you fucking Jason Tatum. That fucking bum. I don't know if that's a hot take. I don't want that's this show take. to be – I don't, I don't want this show to be a take show, but – Jason Tatum shrinks in those moments. We over just, Jalen Brown. Over yeah. Jalen. Jalen is the was the best player in the finals. He was the best player in the Eastern Conference Finals. Why not? And I think because because Tatum has that superstar mantra with him. Because Jalen Brown was taken in the second round. Jay, uh, Jason Tatum was taken. Uh, what, what was it? Three. I think it was three. Right. He was taking three. So now he just gets that tag of superstar with him. Even though he's not a superstar, he's just a really good. He's maybe a he's a number. He's a uh, Clay Thompson. He just plays the three, not the two. But I feel like that's Jalen Brown's role. Thompson sees open shots and is able to do what he does because everybody's focused on Curry. Everybody's focused on Tatum, so it allows Brown to get the second or third best defender on him. And I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying if, if, if I'm if I'm taking these chances or if I'm Portland, that's what I'm looking for. 
because I don't want to just give away Dame for nothing. Right, right, right. And that's why the Miami, the Miami talks have stalled is because. And my thing with going to Miami though, which I think would be the best fit, I don't think they can give up assets for him. I mean, I don't want him. Duncan Robinson for Dame. Throw in Jimmy Butler, then we can talk. But it's not gonna happen. So I don't think they have the assets for it. I got two teams that nobody's throwing out there. Uh, first one, me and Billy talk about this team a lot because they always have a lot of picks. Well, they got a lot of picks now. Uh, Brooklyn. You can go out there with Mikael Bridges, Cam Thomas, and make some shake. They got enough first-round picks to shit, get two most superstars if they wanted to. Uh, so, Tony, real fast. So, you said Brooklyn. Do you not think Brooklyn's tired of trying to just buy these titles like that? No, we've you been that, seeing them buy. It. We went, we went. That's that's what they ownership group about. We've been seeing them do it since they tried to go get a tired ass KD and I mean uh, KG and Paul Pierce, like and Ray Allen. What, oh, one yeah. story, just like they just get. <laughs> yeah, man. Like so. No, that's, I don't worst, think. that's probably the worst trade we've ever seen. Ever. Y'all for the title six years though. Come win one more, and y'all's mid exactly. Back. But they did it, and that's what that ownership group has been about. So that's no, fair. I don't think they 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 tired of it. Like they've been doing it every 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 year, but they go get some old superstar. Like I think I think if you if they kept Steve Nash, then yeah, I like that a little more. But not having Steve Nash there, I think getting a, a predominant point guard like Dane, where you don't have a Steve Nash, where where Chauncey Billups is sitting there in Portland, like hey yo man, I want a fucking chip with probably the least superstar team we've ever seen. Yeah, and the last team, real long shot, but they got the pieces that they can keep their core pieces and still pay down is another small market team uh, like the uh, OKC Thunder is the New Orleans Pelicans. You think Zion is going to go? Bro, they can't see that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. They wouldn't be able to trade, they could get him without trading Zion, Ingram, or uh Herb Jones because they can't trade, they can't they can't be traded until January 14th. But what they trade next year. Who's they gonna get? Bro, they got first round picks. They got they still got that uh they still got all them picks from that that fucking LA trade. Tony uh first round picks for Portland. They ain't gonna be lottery picks. Do you think that New Orleans, or do you think uh, Portland is going to give up Dame for only first round picks? I you mean, don't think ask for a player? Maybe not, brother. Like they just got scoop. They just they just got scoop, bro. They still got uh, baby Dame, Anthony si- uh, Simmons, Simon, Simmons, 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 Simmons. I mean, and and for Simmons. Uh, they still got. Yeah. They just paid. Josh they Hart. just paid. Uh, not Josh Hart, but they just paid uh, Jeremy uh, Jeremy Grant, Jeremy Grant, Jeremy Thank Grant. You. They just paid him. They got scoop, but like, uh, I don't think that's enough. If my, I mean, but look how many they got a lot of first round picks though. They, got, they, they got the first, Christian, they got the first on. round. So Christian, what's enough? You know what I'm saying? When you have a superstar who's out, that's the thing. That's where we get we're getting it fucked up. Is like. What's enough exactly? I think you gotta have a superstar or a couple borderline superstars. I think that's no. what we're looking for, and none of these teams are willing to really give that up. Like with the Pelicans, I don't see them wanting to trade for those first round picks because they just got to the playoffs without Dame. You keep all those players and add Dame. That's there's no way that's a lottery pick. So that's not a good first round pick. Okay, hold on. So if you're if you're Portland then Christian, let me ask you one more time. Would you take Zion for Dame straight up? No. Why not? Because of the injury history with Zion. So give me some first oh, round. You're saying Portland would say no, not New Orleans. No, yeah, Portland, I'm saying, would say no. Ooh. If I was in New Orleans, yeah, I'm doing that in a, I ain't going to say in a hurry, but I'll, I'll consider that and think about it. No, I'm doing it. As soon as they send that trade, it's like like on uh, like on 2K when you get the notification, like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Done. I think it would be Portland that turns it down. I think what they're looking for in return most teams aren't trying to give up, and that's I, 
I think uh I think we just we just like not looking at these trades, but we seeing well we don't see that many um uh, we let's see uh KD went to KD went to Brooklyn for or went to Phoenix for Mikael Bridges and, and, a, and a bunch of good role players and a bunch of but picks. but it's a bunch though Tony that's what I'm saying it's like, like that's what I'm saying the hear me out Billy I was now, gonna- now New Orleans got four of their own first round picks yeah and then they got two from the Lakers and like two from Minnesota or uh, Milwaukee but you don't think that but I'm offering you I'm pick. offering you three first first round picks with with the classes of talent that's coming up that they'll be like you know what but but think about that pick though that's a late 20 pick I'm offering you this for somebody that might not even make your team yeah but but see if I'm offering you a, the 20th pick or even let's say the 15th pick I'm sitting there Bronny's gonna but, be there but New Orleans New Orleans ain't they pick ain't Gonna be fucking fifteen. But I mean, we know outside the top, what ten picks in the NBA. The rest of the guys are castaways. Unless you're a Joker, unless you're. Uh, I mean, that was on come a dime a dozen. They you do know, actually. They are now. Every, 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 every year we get in a late round pick. There's like look at Jalen Brown. That's what I'm saying. Chris, you, you, you gotta, gotta stop that. You, you bet your stop, best player on that. No. Right. I'm, I'm, but I'm, your best player, your best player, want to go, in his first round picks. I'm getting three first round picks. But think about the what I'm saying. They are three, four, fir- three, four first round picks. Christian, I, bring, I'm not bring somebody that you can draft that late in, in the draft. There's no guarantee Bronny ain't gonna go top five because everybody else knows what's coming with him. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? The value. Of, that, that, value. Of all, hold on, on this show, uh, Bronny, we're average. Avid supporters of you, we want you to go not because your dad's coming along, because you are good or going to be good. Uh, you be better by than yourself. Your dad. Oh, no, 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 nah, he won't be better than his dad. No, no, we weren't saying, we weren't saying, no, like, Christian is, Christian is, what I ain't Christian dead. is saying, Christian is saying that Bronny will be a top five because they know his dad gonna try to come where it could be. I mean, why, why wouldn't you do that as a GM? It's a package. Now, that's why Christian is saying it, and I'm it's letting Bronny know. But 40. even if even if you think it's a package deal, LeBron's still forty. It doesn't. Yeah. Also, go Bronny, ahead. Bronny, Bronny, Bronny subscribes to this show, so Bronny, we know, we know that you're gonna be good without your dad's help, except for superstar CMR. But he'll be fired after this show, so you ain't gotta worry about it. Hey, that man either way, so and, bad. and and bro, he did. Uh, he did. You get you get throw uh. A reunion with CJ McCollum in this trade, him. like he did like still... too. Because remember, remember when that trade happened too? Like that was a really weird time, wasn't it? Or am I? Am I? Yeah, yeah it was weird. weird. That that shit made Dan. It caught Dame off guard for real, for real. The trade did. Which one? Uh, Dame, see now, now I'm wondering. Now I'm wondering about Dame's like mental state because he was like. Hey man, I want Jeremy Grant here, and then they signed Jeremy Grant, and then he's still like, ah, I want out of here. You know what I mean? So like, where where's yeah. the where's it happening? I just think it can. I think it can work. You know. Uh, uh, Christian is a hater. Just a realist. Now you're not no realist because I'm giving you three, four first round picks. Like that's, that's, a, that's, that's first round. If you said if you said that trade for the NFL, absolutely. But the NBA right. kind of. Uh, it's just a little. If it ain't the top ten pick, we'll probably never hear from that player again. Maybe not. Name how many but players that went outside the top ten. That you, that's good. Not two or three. Name Giannis. give me five or six. Okay. Giannis. Joker. Giannis is eight though. Giannis is still eight. Uh, I thought he was fifty. Uh, he was fifteen pick. Yeah, he wasn't eight. I, I give you that. Giannis Joker. I don't know. Yeah, right. sorry, John. That's my point. Austin Reeves. I don't know how far back you want to go, but are you talking about like current? Austin Reeves went undrafted. Current? I mean, I'm not trading Dame for Austin Reeves. Where did Tayshawn put him? Tayshawn was like. He was 15. Ben? My bad. Giannis is 15. Tayshawn Prince? Yeah. Was he supposed to like 20. Uh, yeah. Ben Wallace was undrafted. 
Are you trading uh, Dame for Ben Wallace? Yeah. If three defense nope, player of the year, that's it. It Dame makes any team Wallace. he goes to better. Yeah. In, in today's NBA, you want Ben Wallace? Oh, today? No, 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 right. no, no, no. Right. Hey, what about uh, what about when Kobe went thirteenth? You trading you trading Dame for Kobe? That's different. That was in the nineties. It don't oh, matter. Out of high school. Yeah, it don't coming out of high school. Hold on. Yeah, that's well, why that's he dropped. Case, we can go back to the – uh, what, what was the league? About that. What, what, did K, what did KG get drafted as coming out of high school? I don't know. Where did he go? Fifth? Yeah, he went early as fuck. Hold on. What did LeBron come out of high school and get drafted as? Number one. First. That's okay, then. I don't want to hear that shit. What? what did Dwight Howard get drafted? Why are you naming these guys that went first? I'm talking about they went late in the draft. You you said you know that you're the Lakers draft pick. The Lakers, unless you think they're gonna be sorry. So no, AI, you said, I'm I'm real fast. So the people drafted real. Fast, I just want to throw this out there. The people drafted before Kobe Bryant, AI went number one. Marcus Camby number two. Uh, an underrated Marcus Camby. I just want to throw that out there. He didn't play bad. Sharif uh, Abdur Rahim, Stefan Marbury. Ray He's Allen, Mississippi. who Sharif uh, Abdul Rahim? Nah, nah, I think that ain't him. <laughs> yeah, he was from the guy who up the big three. Uh, Ray Chris Allen, Jackson. Antoine Walker, Kerry Kittles went before Kobe Bryant, and then Kobe at thirteen, and then Paige Stojakovic and Steve Nash went right after Kobe Bryant. All of them outside of the top ten. Hey, again, uh, we're talking about Kobe just winning thirteen. Do you think the Lakers damn, are going to make the first round? Yeah, no, you on. said who – stop stop pushing the goalposts. You said name 10 players who's good outside of top 10. Is Kobe Bryant not the most elite? Right, I said league? give him five or six. I, we did. Kobe Bryant is – I did. Okay, that one player? Kobe, Kobe, Asia, Steve Nash, Jermaine O'Neal. That's four That's four right there. But Jermaine five or six – now I'm kind of getting on Antonio's side is if you get three or four of them, if I you said run that risk Steve. where you get an Austin Reeves, you get a Ben yeah. Wallace, you get, Are you a, you get all these three and Reeves. I didn't years, say decent players. I'm not talking about decent role players that are probably disappearing. If, 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 if you hit on those four draft picks and they're all Austin Reeves type players, right? I would rather take four Austin Reeves over one Dame. And what are the odds that's going to happen? I mean, it but that's a lot. why people, that's why GMs take those trades. Mark, Mark, Mark Gasol, forty eighth. If if I gave Rajon, you Rajon Rondo, Rajon Rondo, twenty first. Are y'all Tony tell, Park, well, Tony Park, Tony Damon Park, twenty eighth. Are any of them better than Damon his prime? Manager, you play the lottery. Fifty seven. You buy like five dollars scratch offs every once in a while. No. No, but what no. if I gave you what? What if I gave you ten scratch offs? Like, hey, give me five dollars. Chances are one of these hits. Would you take that? Five for each one? No, just $5. Yeah, i take So it. you give me $5 and I give you four lottery tickets. I'll take it. Exactly. Dennis, That's the same thing. Dennis, it, Dennis, hey, Chris, and stop interrupting. Any one of them better than you ask me name player with name players. Dennis Rodman, 27. Oh, my God. Okay, the, you, the, you the, can take the, Dennis over the third, the third leading scorer in the league, Crime Alone, 13th. That's outside top ten. Okay. Is he not good? He's a weirdo, but he's not good. Is he not good? Again, Carl in today's NBA over Dame. No, you keep moving the goalpost, Chris. Goal you post said ain't changing. Today's you, you NBA, say, though. That's what we're saying, though. You're you're saying today's NBA. Back then, those players went where they went with that type of league. Well, that that ain't happening now. No, Chris. It does Chris happen now goal, because the league don't... always changes, and right now the league isn't going to be where it's at in five years. So players who get drafted lower don't fit today's scheme, but they may fit the scheme in five years when they're hitting their prime. Right, John man. Stockton, sixteenth. Hey, hey, let I... me guess. Let me guess. Uh, assist. Okay, I would. I would trade Dame for the twenty seventh pick in the first round for the next five years. My bad. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. So I. Uh... Come on, Billy. You know you wouldn't do it either. They wouldn't do it. I don't know why they tried to argue that. That's a smart. I, so, oh, real fast. If that's what we're doing, I'm not trading Dame for shit. I'm gonna keep him and be like, just stay. No, 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 no. That's that's dumb. Trade him for the 28th pick in the first round. 
for the next three years. Don't don't get sassy with me. No, no, I'm, I'm just, saying that's what with Billy and I mean with Tony O and Madden so, basically. So, saying. so Kawhi Leonard at fifteen. You trading you trade you trading Kawhi for Dame, uh Christian? No, no. If I'm Portland, hell no. I'm getting twenty games out of Kawhi. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna be in the playoffs. He's tired from playing two playoff games. He's like, I don't know what to do. Hey, hey, this hey, is what I'm saying though. So, so are you trading Giannis for Dan? Yeah, I might do that. And he went 15. But y'all, but I'm saying this is what I'm saying. What are the chances? I get what Matt was saying with the scratch offs, but I'm still not jeopardizing, hoping, and wishing. I'm gonna trade my best player. Hopefully, what? it happens. But and it's not. What if he just? What if he decides he's not gonna play? Nothing. But Matt, nothing. I'm, from the history, comes to like the NBA, where it's like that type of guy. I doubt he'll do it, but if he does, he's been asking for a trade for three years, and he's like, "I'm not fucking around anymore." Right, but he's, he's been out one year though. He's only asked for it this year though, Matt. And so, real fast too, before we before we keep talking about trades, is there no kind of maybe I'm like tripping and maybe I'm being a little old school, but like, yo, man, if you sign the contract, and this is where LeBron, even people who hate LeBron, they always side on him with this. That he's finished a contract and he's gone where he wanted to, and this is where the KD thing comes in. To where KD, he did, he waited, he said, "I'm not signing with OKC," and went to Golden State. He's not like a Kyrie or a James Harden where he's like, "Oh no, y'all gotta trade me." Like he sat with the contract, he did what he was obligated to do. To where his Dame, you just signed a contract two years ago, and now again, Portland's in a big disarray, and they're very different now, but. Yo, you also signed a contract. You know what I'm saying? To where, look at the mellow trade where the Nuggets got better when he left because they got so many good pieces for him. Right. To where it's like, now if I'm like a team like New York who saw what happened, how did the team that we traded for this superstar, they got better and we got not much better. Either way, like I said, if I can get four first round picks, and TJ like a, another player, anybody from New Orleans. Oh, that's what you said at first. Dang, well, you, 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 you were the goal post mover. I felt like I should be able to do it too. Well, I started following your rules. Don't change them. Give them away for a late round first round pick. Do it. Fuck it. He don't want to be there. You want to be there, you know. You probably, probably suck. You probably hey, so, hey, so, we do got to let's let's move on because we got two at least two more topics because I don't think we're going to cover the sleeper picks this week. But do we want to move on to uh, uh, Messi making his MLS uh, debut? No, we don't. We want to move on to what is game day. If we're talking about soccer, you. though, if we're talking about Hold soccer, on. I want to talk about Mbappe getting an offer for a billion dollars for one year. Shut uh, the fuck up. Never even seen right. that. Yeah, I mean, well, I've seen it, but that's not what we're talking about. Right? Oh, come I'm on. Let I'm just saying, if we were talking about soccer, I want to talk about that. I mean, we're going to get to it, but Billy jumped the gun, like always. Billy, it's college football time, bro. It's I, coming up. Media day is here. Billy, we talking about our favorite show to watch with Matt's old uncle, uh, College Game Day. <laughs> Who's his old uncle? Lee Corso. Lee yeah. Corso. Give him Herb Street at least. Nah, it's Corso. Man, out there. Co- collect the check, bro, man. I don't care about your health. It's 50000 a year. Put him in the bear. But that's uh, that's Brickshot's favorite topic. I don't, well, I'm going to say college football is my favorite. I'm pretty sure y'all are in agreement with me. Uh, oh, yes. Um, college game day, we're just going to talk about that. College game day starting off with the Battle of the Carolinas. Real quick, I just want to see who y'all got, uh, and then we can move on to Mbappe. Nah, East and West. Well, they got a East and a Coastal. Smart ass. What? Yeah, 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 that don't make it West. Either way, so the battle is, uh... North of South Carolina. You trying to be smart? No, bro. East, east, east and west, east and west Carolina, bro. Two states. Carolina is not a yeah, yeah, North and South Carolina. What? what, what who else? Is I'm there? saying you got coastal Carolina, East Carolina. Which one are you talking about? Why the fuck would East Carolina versus Coastal be at college game day? Why the fuck? I'll say that for after the show. Go ahead. Either way, 
College game day is battle of the Car- Coastal and East. What the fuck is wrong? Uh, <laughs> North Carolina versus <laughs> versus South Carolina. Chris, who you got? Man, I got. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna roll with North Carolina. Drake, man, things don't go off. I like South Carolina close game, but I think uh, May is gonna be a little too much for him. Who you got, Matt? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Cox. I think uh, the Rattler finally puts it together. You know, we've been saying it for the last fucking for however many years. But he beat Tennessee last year. Without I know, me. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but he beat him. I'm going Spencer Rattler. So you got a uh, maroon shirt. Thank you for correcting the color of my okay. shirt. Uh, okay. I'm also going North Carolina. Uh, I think Matt Matt hit the nail on the head where he was like. We've been saying this about Spencer Rattler, Spencer Rattler for uh, however many years now, and he hasn't came up to it, and he still won't because he can't beat good teams, and he won't beat a good team in North Carolina with Drake Maine. I'm falling for the trap again. Uh, normally I'm team SEC, but uh, Spencer Rattler sucks. <laughs> Uh, he just sucks. So I'm still going with South Carolina. I'm hoping that their defense and their run game is tremendous on that day. I'm going to go with Miss, them. But does Ole Miss play South Carolina this year, Tonio? I don't think so, no. Okay. I was just going to see if he just said that. So, you know, whenever they Ole Miss beats South Carolina, he could be like, see, we're beating good teams. I thought that was insane. <laughs> nope. So that's thank you for that. You're welcome. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, Spencer Rattler sucks, but I hope that South Carolina's defense and their running game is crazy and they run all over them. Um, and that defense line overpowers that little bitty ACC offensive line. Uh, so I hope that goes that way. Um, uh, we will write it down, Billy, and see if me, if me and Matt win, Team Tonio, if Team Tonio wins, you and no, uh, no, no, I call the- Christian. No, no, no. It's Shut up, man. Antonio. I said who I was going to win before you. I said it. So. If wait, Team wait, Tonio wins. Why don't you pick South? If Team Tonio wins, Billy, this is what happens. You and Christian get uh, get me and him. Case of Fago. Peach for me. Great Peach. for Matt. And if y'all win, me and, me and Matt say congratulations. <laughs> no, we also return a favor on the cases. Uh, so, so, Tonio, you're getting uh, Rocket Pop, Fago. I don't want that. Well, then you're not getting Fago. You making the choice of what he gets it, the hell? Either way. Rocket Pop uh, is the best one, probably. I've never had that It's one. not. It's Peach. I've That's never not. even heard of Rocket Pop. Rocket Pop sounds like some shit a meth head made. Fago's four meth heads, you cuck. That's the point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Michiganders are not meth heads. All of them, at least. Well, me, I just like the basic red pop. Oh, get the fuck out of here. I just, I'm red pop is. Red pop Christmas. is. Red pop is good, Christian. I will back you up. It goes really well at every barbecue that we've attended. There you so go. I, they don't know nothing about Bringing that to the barbecue. Red pop is you disgusting. Well, Matt, had, uh, it was good having you training camp. We'll see you next week. Uh, but, yeah, let's get into MLS. I know we don't talk about it a lot on the show, but shout out to uh, Oliver Evans. He's always watching the show, always asking me when we're going to talk about soccer. Been talking to me. I have, like, six paragraphs talking about the fucking uh, the game with Messi. Uh, so we'll get into that before we get into – or actually, let's get into it. Uh Mbappe and a lot of athletes, including Giannis and LeBron, has commented on what Saudi Arabia has been trying to do. They've been trying to secure their big next big star for a while. Started with Messi with a billion dollar contract, and then they just offered uh, Mbappe today seven hundred and seventeen million, I think. John, I'm not sure. Sorry, John. Uh, it wasn't a billion, but Damn near close to it. Uh, that's, Billy, wait, wait. that's with a, a $330 million buyout from his for his current team. So it's that equal to a billion. Sense. Yeah, but that he don't get that money. 
So, no, but he doesn't get it, but it totals a billion because that's part of his contract. They will buy him out instead of him having to buy it out. Either way, Billy, we're on the wrong sport. Uh, football has failed us. We need to play football. And uh, I'll take I'll take 550,000 pounds a year uh, just to play. I'll go out there and get hit in the face uh, and <laughs> me and everything, bro, just to – or I'll just sit on the sideline. I know them dudes making at least, at least 200,000 a year. You know, I do that shit. But – uh. That is crazy fucking money, bro. Let's let's get into it, man. Like for one year. So Matt Matt seemed a little uh, ready for this topic, so I, I think we should pass it to him real fast before I uh, I say anything stupid. Uh, I'm not sure where you want me to go with that, but I feel like it's just a like a publicity thing to get eyes on him because he's the biggest, one of the top three biggest soccer stars in the world, Messi. Mbappe and Ronaldo. They're the three biggest soccer stars in the world. Uh, if they get him and Ronaldo, that's just more advertisement coming to them, blah, 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 more. Just everything is coming in. And then they're probably not going to be able to re-sign him, but that'll get them a jump start of more players wanting to come there. Or if they do re-sign him, like, hey, we just gave you a billion. Will you sign for a little bit less for the next few years? Like, yeah, that kind of thing. So I don't really know what it means, I don't really follow soccer, but I just know it's a lot of money. Well, uh, it, it might look promising. Like I said, me and Oliver talk about football a lot, uh, football a lot. Um, so right now, Mbappe is not allowed to go to training camp with uh, PS. It's P- he plays for PSG right now, right? Yeah, he plays for the Paris team. Um, he's not allowed to go uh, to training camp because he hasn't signed a contract with them right now, and now somebody's not off you a billion dollars is looking good, uh, but we can get into the messy thing. Um, Oliver seems to think that a lot of players ain't. Well, uh, Ronaldo did the he did the Saudi Arabia thing, but uh, something that is political is going on in Saudi Arabia that's probably keeping a lot of these players from signing it. Now Mbappe might take the bag, but you see Messi turned it down and came to the MLF. Is somebody chewing on something? Matt squeezing that water bottle. Oh, yeah, Matt. Matt, don't piss me off. Uh, this um, topic's already pissing me off. Let's get through it. <laughs> uh, so, so we seen him. Uh, we seen Messi come to the MLS, right? Uh, Miami. Uh, he said that more players, more players are coming to the MLS because they got more freedoms because it's America, right? Like you don't gotta worry about somebody being like. Hey, you know what? Fuck this soccer game. I'm gonna burn the stadium down. Or I got a rocket launched at this fucking stadium. That's probably some shit you might have to worry about over there in Saudi Arabia. Billion dollars or not. Or they could be like, hey, we fucking own you. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, just like the salt thing could be like, I paid him a billion fucking dollars, you know, shit like that. So uh I think uh, getting into the MLS, I think a lot of players are going to start retiring from like the Premier League of soccer and coming to the MR- MLS. I put in the notes that it reminded me of the Drew League for the NBA because, you know, Kyrie just dropped a triple double in the Drew League. And that's just good TV. Like people like to see shit like that. And I think that uh, that's what most people, especially with we seen it first with Beckham. Then uh, Beckham and Messi are real good friends. That's probably why he got to sign with Miami. Uh, but the MLS deal that they getting, like, uh, you get, like, a part of Apple TV, uh, like, Apple TV streams for it because that's what we stream the MLS over here. And then you get a part of the actual team stake. So I think, like, we'll start seeing way more players come to the MLS where him and Mitch came over here and played for a while. Uh, Ronaldo was here for a while. Um, and like as soon as as soon as uh Messi came, another dude named Busquets that used to play in Barcelona with Messi, he signed with Miami, and it's like I think that'll bring that'll boost uh soccer in the states because as you know, like a lot of people around the world know once we get into a sport. America is like the biggest fans of shit that they can really get into. So 
you know, like uh, like I said, with the freedoms here, might not be making a billion dollars, but you'll make money comfortable enough. And let's let's be for real. Once you play in the Premier League for so long, you don't make your money. You don't need. Yeah. But you don't need. Uh, there's a there's a stipulation with Messi's contract where it's a lot like Beckham when he came to MLS. He ended up being able to buy the team that Messi plays for now for 25 million. Now it's worth over 500 million. Yeah, but same thing saying. with Messi. Same thing with Messi is he gets percentage of every Adidas soccer sale, and then um, he gets all like a percentage of revenue for the Miami team, or something like yeah. that. So like on top of his salary, if him just coming here and a bunch of people buy a bunch of Adidas <laughs> soccer stuff, he gets more money on top of that. So yeah, so I so it, it, it's just it's, it's just kind of cool to see, uh, especially with like I know y'all probably don't give a fuck about soccer, but it, it's. Like I went to see a game in Real Madrid. That shit was, that shit was. Dope. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was dope, bro. Like, uh, fans so, are different. Yeah. So, cause, cause, Tony, I also I saw a uh, Bar- or, uh, Barcelona game. I, I couldn't tell you who they were playing, but that it was so fucking cool. As boring as the game was, like trying to be into it, like the the atmosphere, like for where we would think, like if it's a nothing nothing game where the offense is just playing like shit for an NFL game, we're sitting here like, oh, this yeah. fucking sucks. But the fans did such a good job of it was like one-to-one for like probably like 45 minutes. And I just remember still being like, oh, shit. Hey, this is it's about to happen. Something's – whatever the fuck something was, something was about to go down. And I thought that was really cool. Also, uh, it, the uh, did anybody see the end, the end of the, the Messi game – or not the end, the penalty kick? For the uh for Messi in Miami, yeah, what a fucking play! And the the announcers, you know how like we look at the the Premier Leagues and the uh, even the uh, Mexican league, where the the announcers do such a great job of like calling it to make us feel like oh this is the most important moment ever. Was a hell of a call with that Messi with the curve, like that was just fucking tits. That was so yeah. fucking cool. And the LeBron Messi picture afterwards was hard. Yeah, that was hard as fuck. Um, but Oliver, shout out to you. I told you we was gonna get soccer on here. Now get all your friends from the UK to follow us, like and subscribe. We talk about football every episode we want to. But we're getting down to where we're getting to the end of the show. But we could not end this great episode without at least five questions from Christian's corners. Okay, let's get into it. We missed it out last week, but let's get back to it this week. You want to start? Start all over the board. Antonio Brown, Marvin Harris. Antonio Brown, easy. Antonio Brown. Put that shit on. I'm going with Antonio Brown too. Okay. Uh, the career, I'm same numbers. Real fast, his um, his album got took off Spotify, and I don't know why. So I'm just kind of upset with Spotify. Just... Yeah, I thought y'all wasn't going to show Brown a lot of love and go with Harrison. You starting a college football team, you got to pick one of these players: um, Reggie Bush, Cam Newton, Tim Tebow. Reggie Bush, Tim Tebow. I'm going. I'm going Cam Newton. I respect Cam Newton. I wanted to go Cam, but just Kibo so hard. I'm going Cam Newton. One at every uh, level. No, no, I got one better than that. Oh. Let me see. I got a basketball one I want to throw in there. Take all these guys in their prime. Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, uh, DeMarcus Cousins, Chris Bosh. Dwight Howard. Yeah, the White Howard. He's like, Superman Cave, defensive player of the year, went to the finals. Or right, is this is this no injuries? No injuries in the front. Right. Demarcus Cousins for me. Demarcus Cousins. Yeah. I want to show some love to the offensive lineman. Yes, let's do that. But we're gonna go best O lineman, Trent, Trent Williams, Quentin Nelson, Lane Johnson. Jason Kelsey, Zach Martin. Jason Kelsey shouldn't be on that list, but it's Trent Williams. <laughs> he shouldn't even be on there, huh? No. It is going to be Trent Williams for me also. <sighs> I 
Give me Quentin Nelson. I'm only not taking Trent Williams because everybody else did, so I'm taking Quentin Nelson. Um, you don't have to be pick? wrong just because. Your pick? Jeremy Shockey, Jimmy Grant. Isn't that prime? In the prime. Jimmy Graham. He's like the first tight end to ever put up receiver numbers at tight end position. He like changed the position. Tony Gonzalez did it first, but uh No. Okay, let me reword it. He just Shannon completely Sharp did it first. changed the changed the position. Lining out at out at wide receiver number one and then going back in line, like when he was doing that, people were like, Shannon What Sharp the fuck that. is Sean Payton doing? Give me uh, Jeremy Shockey because he had a better uh, off the field life. <laughs> you want Jimmy Graham? And he this my couldn't find a real reason. I'm going Jimmy Graham. Hey, let me squeeze in two more. Go ahead. We got Matt Forte, a guy we all well, me and Matt debated about earlier this year or earlier this week. Melvin Gordon, Michael Turner, or Maurice Jones Drew. Maurice Jones Drew. My career Jackson. cut short. Career cut short because of an elevator incident. Uh, Matt Forte. Not an elevator. That's the wrong one, but okay, yeah, that's, that's Jeremy Rice. I was no, yeah, that's Rice. Oh, you were talking about that fight? Yeah, Maurice Jones Drew hit his wife too, or something though. No, I think he just got hurt. Yeah, he, I'm he, sure they would have took him off NFL Network. He, he got took, short and fat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, was, like, he went to the Raiders and got fat, I think. DK Metcalf, Brandon Marshall, Dez Bryant, Mike Evans, Alshon Jeffrey, Allen Robinson, or Plexico Burns. God damn. Mike Christian. Evans. Is that Mike the NFL? Evans. No, no, no. Just some guys I feel like just kind of forgotten about. Besides DK, he's current. Uh, did you say Plexico Burris? Yeah, you want me to run through the list again? Wait, you no. say Mike Evans current, too. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking people. Plexico Burris. Matt, Tonio? I said Mike Evans immediately. Uh, I'm probably going to go Mike Evans, but I want to say DK. Mm, I'm going to roll with... Uh, Dez. Give me Dez. Mike Evans, 1,000-yard season every year. Yeah. I can't argue with that uh, production. That's going to wrap up Christian's Corner for the week. So, Tony, I know that I'm infamous for this, but uh, we got one more topic. This is the last one. Um, this would not be a Brick Shot show without talking about an HBCU, um, especially when they're in the news for what, they're, what they got going on. Um, there was a music video shot in Florida A&M's locker room, and this is causing a huge uproar. They're not letting uh, Florida A&M practice. They're taking the. Uh, they're not letting them get into the locker room because there is a, an investigation happening, um, simply for a uh, music video being shot. Tonio, I know uh, we've been on HBCU since we started this show. How do you feel about this news coming out? Stupid as fuck. Uh, I'm going to be real with it. In which way? Um, it's dumb as fuck that they shut down football operations. Okay. There's no way that a player knows what anybody has licensed, what permits they have. They don't know nothing outside of their playbook. They're supposed to go to class and not to get DUIs and domestic violence cases. That's all football That's players it. know. That's it. So if a rapper... uh uh Boston Richie come in there and he's shooting a video and he asked me if I want to be in it. You fucking right, I want to be in there. Like, what the fuck I look like turning that shit down? Also, HBCUs, like, for them to set it down is dumb as hell. Do they not see the publicity that got Jackson? Billy, your eyes just crossed or something. Do they not uh do they not see the publicity and the money that Jackson State brought in from having rappers in the locker room every week? It was somebody in that locker room with a preacher, Dion. 
a, a preacher, a man, a guy. It was somebody in there. Uh, I don't know if he's a preacher for real. I think he might be. But uh, it was somebody in that locker room. We see Young Dolph, T. Glock. Uh, we see somebody in that locker room every week. Rick Rock, like they was there. What 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 trouble is a rap video? What image do you think it? You're a historically black college. Of course, everybody there listens to rap. It's a black school. Everybody listens to rap. You need that publicity and bring in money. Boom. This dude paid us. Uh, let's say he gave him twenty thousand, just or ten thousand, five thousand, anything, any, any anything to shoot the video in there. And you like, all right, I'm shutting down football operations because y'all was in the locker room. Well, duh, motherfucker. That's why I be at if I play football there. I'm in my <laughs> locker room. The hell you want me to do, bro? Like, hey man, we shooting this video, man. Y'all want to be in it? No nah. shit, I'm here. I was here working out, so fuck it. I might as well be in there, motherfucker. That shit's dumb as hell. I don't like it at all. Um, new report came, reports came out the day that they uh removed the suspension or whatever and let uh, football operations go back but i think it was dumb as hell i think it was the wrong move uh i don't think that i don't think that rap should paint a paint a negative connotation of a school especially a historically black because everybody always equate rap with oh they're thugs and all that shit fuck all that bro it's just it's music it's music if jason Aldean can be in a small town Fuck it. Boston Richie can send a blitz. That's the name of the song, by the way. I'm with you on everything you just said. I'm sure there's more shit going on worse that they need to shut something down for than a music video. Northwestern, Northwestern ain't shut. They back football operation down. They on an active investigation about hazing and dudes. Like, they didn't shut shit down. Why the fuck you shutting shit down? I don't so I, that's how I feel about it. Y'all might view it well. I just think not they blown out before they shouldn't be as, as serious as they're making it. Let them do what they do, tell them so they maybe it, don't stand as a slap on the wrist and go on about operations. I think what do you think, out. Billy? Or Matt Matt probably don't give a fuck. He hate ABCUs. I didn't say that, but I had no idea this was even happening. So well, I, I don't know anything about say, it. I didn't say it, but I do. So, so, so I, I, I did have a problem with it uh, in the in the in the in the context of I don't like that the rapper uh, I know the song name is Blitz I can tell you uh, something Boston is the rapper's name Boston Richie real Boston, Boston Richie, Richie. Um, I didn't like that he had a helmet on I do think there is a like like at least some kind of code with within the football at least being a football player I don't like that this guy who never played for us. I don't know if this guy attended the the university because um, he did. He was he was swagged up in in um, FAMU stuff. So um, a, a get the support where you can. But hey, I'll Billy, talk, yes, don't you ever in your life not call it FAMU again? FAMU, all right, not FAMU, FAMU, all right. Don't yeah. disrespect us like that. So all right, go ahead. So he he was swagged out in some FAMU stuff, right? But. Uh, putting the helmet on, I did have an issue with with him putting on the helmet. Not not making the video, not having it in the locker room, whatever that shit was. That that's cool. But him ha- putting on the helmet, that's like a that's a. I don't think you don't get to do that just because you're, just because you're a famous or just because you're a rapper. Putting on the shirt, even putting on a jersey is a little different. But the helmet, that's that's Too like, a, it's like a gridiron rule kind of. Maybe again, maybe I'm I'm being a little. Uh, old schooler, I'm tripping about something, but I'm tripping. I, again, I'm not saying I'm not. I do want to throw that in there that I don't think I, I'm not. So, thinking. so, so, Brian never played for Ohio State, whose uniforms, their alternate uniforms are horrendous. By the way, uh, shout yeah, out to Aaron. Gray ones. Oh, yeah, that shit is ugly. But we seen him walk out in a full fucking uniform, pads, helmet, and all. I didn't What's like different? that either, though. I didn't like that. Yeah, but we seen it. But it I had. But but if I'm saying though, if I'm saying things that I didn't like about it, that I, I still I don't like that. I don't like uh put the mascot helmet on. That'd be something. That'd be okay. I'd be okay with that. But putting on a football helmet that the players use and actually fucking get on there, get on the fucking gridiron every Saturday, I don't I don't like that. 
that's not – I don't like when recruits do it. I don't like the way recruits get to take pictures with the helmet on. Again, the jersey, that's different. There is a marketing thing. I just – I didn't like that. Number two, uh, the song was kind of shitty. Um, I, I didn't think the song was very great. Uh, it was uh, – the flow The flow with it, with the beat, was not good. It wasn't very good. Um, and so if, if I'm the president of the university, what the uh, – one more time, Boston something. Sorry, Tonio. Nope, you're not going to. Okay, you're muted. Uh, the, the, who, who, Real Boston Richie, bro. Real Boston Richie, right? Um, the, the context of the song, I didn't understand because um, it, it was a lot of, and she sucked my dick, and uh, he did have a double cup. Uh, just, just, again, not that that's a bad rap song, right, in general, but if you're, if you're at Fan Mew, why is that the the context of the song? I just didn't understand. Like the like, I could see where a a president of a university or even the athletic director could be like, "What what is this for?" It is wasn't, it for like, right. If it was like if it was like just about like the songs the song is uh, blitz, right? If it was about hey, I'm out here taking out people uh, using a blitz or using X Y Z because there was even a line in there where it was like uh, something about the sniper. I'm cool with that. But the the dick sucking and that shit, that's where I was just kind of like, what does that have to do with why you're in the locker room kind of thing? You know what I'm saying? Because right. the, the, the rest of the video was kind of cool uh, where they were at, uh, where like some, some bitches were twerking and they were out in front of the, a couple of like super cool cars. Uh, there was one like F-150 that was lifted like 25 inches. That was pretty fucking tight. But if I'm looking at that video, that's like, I get that. But the locker room part, that's where I don't understand where I'm kind of okay with the athletic director being like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Why are we letting this video happen? But again, you should know a little bit more of what's happening in that locker room than just being like, oh, where is this video at? Right. Right. I agree with you on that too. Well, you know, like, I, like I said, for school that doesn't, for schools that don't get as much funding as Power Fives and all that, any publicity is good publicity. I don't, I, I mean, as long as they're not out here, going down for uh, drug trafficking or promoting uh, rape and violence and shit. If a rapper wants to come and shoot a video there and we can get paid for it, we need it. Like like I said, man, I I know HBCUs don't get they don't get the funding that everybody else gets. So anybody, any opportunity where you can get paid and it's legal, need it like i i mean why did why did dion just leave the funding the funding hbcu yeah. don't have the ability to pay coaches or they don't have the facilities to hey if i got a player that's injured i can't put them in the uh in this cold jet like that like i could do at a power five but now now that boston richie done uh shot this viral video in my school and he done paid us or if we got some because somebody Somebody knew about the video. He ain't just walk on campus and was like, "Ah, right, man, let's just shut up right here." Well, that's what I was wondering. Is he a is he a student in there? Because if he's a student, that's an easy access to just go right in. I don't think no rapper talking about getting his dick sucked and shooting up his neighbor's house just go to school. He could be now. A lot of rappers do different I, lives I, aside from you know, like uh, that, but yeah, EST ESTG. Like he was playing football at Arkansas before he became a rapper, so. Uh, the saying. university, so, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe he do, but maybe he got a cousin on the team. But I still don't think, I don't think you can punish the team because how attentive are you as a coach, or is your coaching staff that people just in the locker room at night you ain't know nothing about? It? Yeah, because if I'm a coach, I'm probably in there at night watching some film to make sure I'm not going to get fired. Somebody is like some somebody you know, but. My secondary you know. coach or something. Someone's. <laughs> All right. But, man, it's been a good show. Uh, Billy be having to push the envelope every time to get us over an hour and 50 minutes. I hope y'all always make it through to this part. Uh, once again, welcome back to Superstar CMR. Uh, y'all can say hello and goodbye. This is his last episode with us. Hate to see him leaving. Uh, replacement is coming soon. It's going to be none other than B. Shannon Sharp uh, got that coming. 
Just playing. We secure. stuck this ball. ESPN, so my spot is secured. Check them out mm-hmm. on first day. That's where the word rumor is. Christian, I love you so much, but if they said Trans Sharp's going on my show, I'm you're fired. If that's what we have to do. I hope you can understand. <laughs> oh, I guess not. Never mind. Fire that black. Uh, is it a race thing? What a race baiter. Well, uh, if, the, if the rule is a hey, fire a person on the show to get Shannon Sharp, I'm, I'll fire myself to have Shannon Sharp come on this show. I don't give a fuck. You just have to edit uh, all the videos, make all the clips. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll keep Man, your, your likeness. We'll, we'll keep your likeness and the logo, and it'll still be Brick Shots with Billy Antonio. So you'll still be here. Trust me, if we send you on your way, we are definitely replacing that with Billy and Shannon. <laughs> 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 definitely gonna be uh, every week if you want. It uh, definitely gonna be Tonyo and Shannon or Shannon and Tonyo. Uh, hey, brick shots with Shannon and Tonyo. It's hard. It, uh, what's that? Uh, you ain't ever seen that. <laughs> anyway, uh, Cap- Captain Underpants, how you feeling? Hey, I'm feeling all right. It's explicit. Oh. <laughs> Hey, make sure when you edit the video, you blur out Matt. Because I feel thing. like, yeah, we're going to start getting flagged on YouTube for him not having on pants. Look, well, he's going to sit up, too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me adjust. Let me yeah. Billy, as always, it's been a good show with you, my friend. I hope you feel the same way. Uh, you got anything? No, uh, I thought it was a great show. I did want to get the HBCU's love in there because that's that's what we do over here. Um, thought it was a great show. I know that I pushed the envelope. Now that I'm uh, checking myself, I do find myself uh, pushing some topics a little longer than they need to go. Hey, but, you know, the show say brick shots with Billy. So, hey, that's what we're doing. We're taking the brick shot, baby. Hey, man, it's been another good week. We'll see y'all boys next week. Y'all boys and girls and wives. Y'all have a good week. Hey, appreciate y'all.